Hi, I'm Jack Shilly and welcome to another video. This video is slightly different to the norm. It's not a total, completely different vlog um, per se, but it is a vlog, um, I guess. And um, it's relating to just a bit about me and my career so far. I've had a few people talk to me about uh, why I'm interested in horticulture, why I love it, what I've done with my career so far, kind of where I'm heading, where I want to be. Um, so I thought it would be quite nice um, just to sit down for five or ten minutes and just talk through where I'm up to with my career, why I do enjoy it so much and answer some of your guys' questions um, because I've been asked by a couple of people to do this sort of video. Um, so yeah, I suppose to begin with a, bit, a little bit of background about me personally I guess. Um, so I'm 22 years old, I'll be 23 in August. I currently live with my partner Lewis um, who I've been with for um, over a year and a half now, coming up for two years this year. Um, I have been involved in horticulture and gardening for a very long time. It's sort of became my real career choice um, at secondary school, but um, I haven't really done anything else. Um, I've done a little bit of work at Thorpe Park Resort over the past few years, working my way up from a host to a team leader, um, and I've finished there. Now I'm, I suppose interests, hobbies. Uh, I used to be a gymnast, I quite like fitness, I like going to the gym. I have to say I'm not really that interested in too many sports per se. Other than that, you'll probably find me in the garden doing what I really loved. I've been gardening for a long time. Um, my first kind of um, trial and error was a little pop-up greenhouse that I got given. Um, I could grow some seeds in there. And since then I've really been captivated and I knew that I liked it. Um, but it wasn't until um, secondary school when I was in year nine that we were very lucky enough to have a garden for our school's 300th anniversary at the RHS Chelsea Flower Show. There are links there. So um, I went to Ranelagh School and Lord Ranelagh um, also built some of the gardens at the Chelsea Hospital um, where the Chelsea Flower Show is held. So that was a really nice connection there and a nice link. When I went there, I was very lucky enough um, that I was on the Royal Route and I was asked if I would like to stay. Um, so I met the Queen, Prince Charles, Camilla, um, taught them through our school show garden, which is an experience I will never forget. It was one of the greatest days of my life. Um, and um, that was really the kind of turning point for me where I'd never really been involved in a show like that. I knew I liked gardening, but I had never seen it on a international stage like that to meet so many other like-minded people to show that people were having a really good time um, that people you know were coming from far and wide to look at this show that's when I decided that this is actually what I really want to do so following that I then got a Saturday job at my uh, local garden centre here called Long Acres and um, I started there when I was 14 working very very few hours on a Saturday just helping out on the plant section and actually I learned a lot about um, plants and horticulture from there and um, I ended up staying there for six years but I'll come on to that in a, in a little bit. So what did I do in those six years at Lyonica as well? Um, I was predominantly working weekends really. I worked on the plant section with the plants team as a general assistant. I've done some bits on the chemical section, did some bits indoors in the house plant section, learned a whole host of things about horticultural retail specifically um, and then once I'd finished college, um, because I went to college while I was at Long Acres, I achieved my level three extended diploma, which I'll talk about briefly in a bit. Once I'd finished that, I went abroad for three months and I was very lucky that when I came back, um, I was offered a full-time position with Long Acres again um, to continue my career. Um, so I came back just in time for Christmas trees and we kind of left it as that. Um, I didn't really know where I was going or what I wanted to do yet. Um, and then after that, um, in the January of that year, um, the company wanted to expand into online retailing, so sending plants out nationwide. Um, it's a hugely big market, um, so we wanted to capitalise on that. Um, so I worked very closely with the managing director thereafter as the online plant supervisor, helping to get that set up and actually develop um, the plant retailing online side of the business um, and I did that for a year and a half just about which I thoroughly enjoyed again learned so much about retail learned loads about online retailing as well which was a totally new area to me um, managed to grow it um, reasonably well and um, I was then at this point approached by the RHS um, so this is what prompted that change in career I was quite happy at Lauren because it's very close to home all that kind of thing um, I had developed there I progressed there 
but um, I was approached by the RHS at this point who were looking for a new team leader. I joined their retail environment at Wisley. Um, I always um, had had ties with the RHS. I'd done some voluntary internships there. I was very keen to be involved in what the RHS was all about. Um, so to combine my love of retail and business with the RHS, which is horticultural based, I thought it was a dream. So I took the position with them and became their senior horticultural team leader, which ended my six years at Laurie and started a new chapter, a new direction for me. So senior horticultural team leader, what did that entail? It entailed working initially out on the plant area. I was doing all the stock ordering, replenishment, all that kind of stuff. And then um, I was moved more into the inside of the shop. So I was managing all the tills, all the EPOS system, all the customer service, all the plant advice. I was responsible for setting up um, Collect by Car, um, which was a new service for them, um, made it easier for people to shop there. Um, I helped uh, oversee various projects get introduced, customer deliveries, all that side of things. So still horticulture, but much more business focused. And I did that for about a year. Um, two years in total at the RHS. Um, I was very happy there, but again, um, always keep your eyes open for opportunities. And I saw an opportunity to be a garden centre manager. So um, I applied. I didn't think I was going to get the position. Um, it's quite a big step up compared with what I've done, but I felt like I was ready for the challenge. I like a challenge and I thought I could make a good go of it. Um, so I applied um, to a company called the Richmond Fellowship, which is a mental health charity. Um, so it's quite a unique service for them and um, went through the interviews and the rest is history as they say. So I've been there three months now um, and I'm their garden centre manager. So I oversee the entire site, all the staff, all the cafe, all that stuff. Um, it's very business um, orientated rather than the plants, but I'm doing a lot of work with the plants team. I do a lot of the ordering there. I also work very closely with the cafe team. And what we do is we allow people to come to us um, that are suffering from mental ill health or are recovering from mental ill health um, and give them real world practical experience and the confidence to get back into a routine, start talking to people and then hopefully at the end of their time with us they are in a much better place and can go out back into the world of work which would be amazing and we do very well so um, it's got a really nice message behind it, slightly different change of direction for me but I'm learning loads about mental health and I'm finding it absolutely fascinating um, and I think the work that we do is fantastic um, but a big stack up, a big challenge um, but something that I needed to do, I need to push myself and what I would say is that you should always try for these things even if you don't think you're going to get it or you don't think you're good enough just try it because you'll be amazed at what you can do and what you can achieve so that's kind of my working career so far obviously I've done bits and pieces in my spare time like I've done the work at Thought Park really good taught me a lot about customer service um, and dealing with different types of people and things like that so um, that's really good experience for me um, it's hard work running two jobs though I must say and now that I'm in this position I really need to focus on that um, so that's kind of the reasoning behind why I've ditched the kind of secondary jobs um, but very very useful and if you do get the opportunity to do something totally different in a totally different environment I would recommend it but Obviously, if it impacts on your study and your other jobs, then it's just not worth it. Ultimately, I could probably see myself moving out of horticulture and into other retailing, um, high street retailing, technology retailing, anything like that. Um, I'm enjoying the management aspect of it more and more, and I'm finding that I'm actually better and better at the management side, as well as the horticulture side, so obviously it would be nice. Um, obviously, you, I want to keep progressing and I want to keep developing, and I think the way to do that eventually, not in the immediate future, will probably be to move away from horticulture retail and into just general retailing um, but as I said that's much further in the future and if the right opportunity came out within horticulture to progress um, like an area manager or something like that then of course the option is always there you should never close any doors is what I would say so in terms of education I have studied at Sparshop College I achieved my level 3 extended diploma in horticulture from there achieving a distinction star um, which was much better than I did with my AS levels I actually went back to school for a year and I deferred my college place um, I hated it, hated AS levels, loved my college course, much more practical based um, assignment writing which is better than exams, I hate exams, um, so I did very very well at that, I was very pleased. While I was there, we had a garden at the Chelsea Flower Show again, and um, we did exceptionally well, achieving a gold medal um, and best in category. So to be a part of that team and to be part of um, that award-winning garden was just fantastic. And it's something that you know, if you do get the chance to be involved in a Chelsea build or design, do it because it is just fabulous. It's really, really good. Then I went travelling for a bit. I went to Hawaii for three months, and I went to Japan. Um, did lots of horticultural kind of bits and pieces while I was in Hawaii um, and that was you know, really good so again would wholeheartedly recommend traveling 
And then when I came back, obviously went back to Long Acres, but um, I took about a year off or so um, where I didn't have any kind of education. And since then what I've done um, is I've enrolled and I'm now halfway, well over halfway through my RHS Master of Horticulture. So all being well, this time next year, I'll be a Master of Horticulture or just about wrapping up my course and hopefully I'll have qualified. So it's a level six qualification. So that's equivalent to a bachelor's degree, um, which is really good. It's actually awarded by the RHS. They're one of very few places in the UK where you can actually award a degree. Um, so it's really exciting. Um, it's quite tough. We have three days of um, tutor time um, where we actually get to speak with our tutors. The rest is self-directed, self-taught, um, and you do all your assignment work, etc., from home. So that can be quite challenging. You've got to be really well disciplined of yourself on what you want to do. It's challenged me to think about things that I wouldn't have necessarily thought about. Um, and as I said, more than halfway through it now and I'm really looking forward to getting it finished and achieving that qualification which I think will really help me moving forward in the future. So I suppose why do I like horticulture? Well um, I suppose I'll split that. Why do I like horticulture and why do I like retail? I suppose is how I'll pitch this question. So the horticulture aspect uh, it will always be what I enjoy and what I love. I love seeing a seed planted and watching it grow and develop into something that you can use or others are enjoying watching it flower and flourish and knowing that you've nurtured that from something so tiny right the way through is just incredible. It's something that I really, really love. Um, I don't know, it's captivating and trying all these different things, um, all these different plants that you can grow, all the varieties that you can try, what grows well, what doesn't. And I love trial and error. I like pushing the boundaries of what you can do. It's written down in books, you can be taught about it, but there's always room to try and see what happens. And that's one of the things I really enjoy about horticulture. And horticulture is so diverse. So. When you go to the Chelsea Flower Show or Hampton Court or wherever you are, you're always going to meet a really diverse mix of people. People that could be botanical illustrators, they could be garden designers, they could be landscapers, they could be um, groundskeepers, they could be propagators, they could be nurserymen, they could be retailers like myself, and they could be tutors, educators. There's so many different paths that you can take within horticulture, but there's one thing that does remain the same and it's their passion for the industry. And that's one of the things that I think has really captivated me about that is that that everybody absolutely adores and loves what they do and why they do it. So, you know, you can't beat that. I haven't met another kind of industry where we have the same kind of draw to what we do, love and desire to continually better what we do as well. You know, we're always constantly learning. Horticulture is such a broad subject. So um, I think that, you know, that's probably why I love horticulture. And then in terms of retail, well, I love business. Um, I like the thrill of making money. Um, I like, um, the changeable kind of patterns in retail. It's very difficult at the moment for like high street retailers, for example. There's all these different things you need to look at. Um, I like writing proposals, delivering on projects, that kind of thing. And um, I like seeing something from start to finish and seeing how it helps people and how it develops. And you can really do that in retail. And actually for me, the customers are a really key part of why I love retail, because again, they're so different. You listen to their stories, you listen to why they've come into you, how long they've been shopping there, and you get a really loyal customer base. And that's really nice. It fills you with kind of a warm feeling inside that you know that you've achieved this and these customers keep coming back because of the work you're doing. It's just fantastic. And actually, I like the team nature of retail. So I've got a really lovely team at my new garden center, which is called the Old Moat. Um, and um, they're all fabulous, really nice group of people. And I like that. I like being able to bounce ideas of other people. I think for me, I've tried landscaping and I've tried bits and pieces in the past and it becomes very isolated sometimes. And I'm very much a social person. I like talking to people, as I said, bouncing ideas off one another. So that's one of the things I really like about it. And the team is so important. Like without the team, you don't have the service and without the service you don't have the customers so the team is where all your effort should be focused on I'm very much a believer in that and then actually working with the customers what do they want analyzing different trends it's interesting to see year on year how many different things change and you've got to still fight with the weather and all that kind of thing so it's really challenging it keeps you going every day is different and that's what I like about it I couldn't do the same task over and over again I like having lots of different things to do and I like being busy and retail certainly keeps me busy. That's um, a little bit about me, about my career, why I love horticulture and if there was, you know, if someone came to me and said would you take up a career in horticulture I would absolutely wholeheartedly recommend it. Um, it's so rewarding, um, it's challenging, you're constantly learning, um, it's just fantastic. You can go down so many different paths and I think it's really key that we share that message. The more that I can do to help young people see how diverse and interesting the industry is, the better. Um, I'd just like to thank you for watching this video. Um, I hope that's answered a few of your questions 
And if you do have any more questions or comments, then do put them in the box below. Be sure to follow me on social media, all those links are below as well, um, so you can keep up to date of what's going on. And um, I will see you in the next video. Thanks very much.